So after eight years of waiting, did it live up to the hype? Yes. But did it live up to our expectations? No. So I'm going to list the details of what makes this game great and what makes this game absolutely terrible. I'm not going to talk about any of the bugs in the game. It's already been done to death, especially if you just take a trip over the Reddit. All you're going to see is only bugs. <laughs> so I'm not going to talk about that in this review. This is going to be strictly talking about the actual gameplay, everything that the game has to offer. Cyberpunk really captures the essence of what I would expect a cyberpunk world to be like. It's just an amazing looking world, lots of things to look at and, and see. It's almost the feeling of Blade Runner where they have those cut scenes where you're, where it has the cinematics of like floating through the city and seeing everything. And it's just so magical. This is the same thing you get from cyberpunk. And this is what makes the game very special. Also, the voice acting is spectacular, very top notch work on, on the actual, like, character development stuff where this game really falls flat is with player expectations because cyberpunk was originally sold as an rpg experience it's an action game instead which this is the sad part about it and i did originally when i made my video talking about the hype and the excitement that i felt for cyberpunk I got a lot of ridicule because of it, because I mentioned that I, um, I was going into it expecting kind of like a Grand Theft Auto style of a game. The problem is, is that we didn't get an RPG or a Grand Theft Auto style game. We got a very mediocre version of both. So first off, when it comes to the story, the story is, is really well done when it comes to the pacing, with the voice acting, with the, the characters that, that your character is speaking to, and also that your character actually has voice lines. That's all really well done. But when it comes to the actual main story arc, the thing that really disappointed me the most was the lack of decisions that you could make. There's been a lot of situations where I didn't want to do a certain thing or I wanted to play it how I wanted to because I wanted to role play. But you can't role play your character because you are set on on just like, like a train track and you're just following what the developers made for you. And that's the story that you're dealing with. There is no actual choice. Here's a perfect example of what I mean. The game gives you three options of no. So as you can see, it's literally the first one is a polite no. The second one is a straight up no. And then the third one is a respectful no, basically. It's pretty dumb. So there's literally no other choice but no. The expectation that I was expecting when I got into this was I thought it was going to be more like Detroit Become Human. We set out to make our games bigger, more complex, deeply engaging. Cyberpunk 2077 marries exploration of a vast open world with kinetic combat, story-changing player choices, and robust character development, all to bring you into our vision of the dark future. Instead, all we got was just a simplistic, run-of-the-mill action game. You're pretty much set on just a train track, just going straight through, and I did research all the different endings. So there's six different endings, apparently. All six of them pretty much lead into the same thing. So every time I, I played the new playthrough and I tried doing uh, the Corpo because I started as a street guy and I also tried the Nomad. And each of these three are basically 15 minutes of gameplay before it branches off into the same storyline with Jackie. So like... No matter how you look at it, you're friends with Jackie, which is the weirdest thing ever because it, it just totally ruins the immersion of the story. It makes sense for, for um, your character V to be interested in, in Jackie on the Nomad storyline. And I feel like the Nomad storyline definitely holds up a little bit better than the other two just because it makes more sense that your character is trying to pursue that route. When it comes to the street... Jackie is trying to rob you in, in the story, 
And that's how you become friends with him, which I think is completely ridiculous. Because if you think about a real life situation where these these people living in the streets and these people dealing with like gang activities and all this stuff, you're not going to be friends with somebody that's trying to rob you. At, like at, at, I didn't even have an option to kill him or <laughs> or to stop him or to even like not take the job at all and go do something else. You know, and, and, and I, I think of other games that did this right. Let's say, for example, Outward. The, the cool thing about that game is that when you start it off, you have several options and ways that you can save your house. And there was there's either take jobs in the in the town. There's either go out and try to, like, figure it out, basically, try to find things to, to bring back to town to make money off of. Or you could just not do anything and then you land up losing your house. These three different decisions that you can choose to do, and this is all just governed on your play style and how you want to actually approach the game, was something that made that game very special. In Cyberpunk, you don't have any of those options at all. So the way the story plays out is the way the story is going to play out, and that's it. And the only thing that governs your actual different endings is how you approach the side missions and you do those, which I definitely recommend doing the side missions and seeing that stuff because that's the stuff that really makes Cyberpunk a little bit more special. And there is a lot better storytelling in the side quest, surprisingly, than in the main storyline. Also, when it comes to being a corpo, and this is something that I was really hoping for, was I really wanted to role play two different sides of the game i wanted to be the street thug guy that was like a typical grand theft auto type dude and then i also wanted to be the the corpo guy which was going to be the asshole businessman that just wants to focus on trying to like get rich off of the poor type of thing and there is none of that because either way you look at these storylines they all lead to the same exact story which is to be poor work with Jackie and try to get rich with Jackie, basically. Like that's that's the whole concept. And then they get into their troubles and blah, blah, blah. And then it goes into all the bullshit. No matter how you look at it, it's the same exact story every single time. And this is the biggest shame that I feel like with this game. When it comes to the actual combat and the exploration part, the Grand Theft Auto side, it's missing a lot of core features that would make a true open world game things like customizing your character you can't go to a barber shop you can't get new hairstyles once you customize your dude in the beginning of the, the character creation screen that's the last time you're going to be able to modify anything also when it comes to respecting your build there's not really a whole lot of options other than going to the the ripper guy and then buying a thing for a hundred thousand dollars but even then you can't respec all your um your core skills you can only respect the actual attributes you put points into so that's lacking as well not that it matters anyway because the rpg elements are really really bad in this game it actually makes it seem like fallout 4 had way better rpg elements than this which is really sad to say because rp uh, the rpg elements in fallout 4 was super bad compared to games like let's say new vegas compared to games like morrowind elder scrolls you know compared to actual real rpgs it's pretty sad to see this in cyberpunk because you know we were expecting an rpg game instead all we got was call of duty open world grand theft auto trying to be kind of game and when it comes to the open world part the sad part is that a lot of the open world activities are are copy pasted throughout the world you're sitting here having a like let's say a, an alert pops up and it's police that are fighting against thugs your only option is to fight the thugs and to help the police and i'm like why the hell am i helping the police when i'm a street dude you know what i mean how about if i don't want to role play that and I want to actually be a thug ass dude. And I just want to kill people. I want to be a murderer. I want to use drugs. You know what I mean? You can't role play in this game. So there's none of that. You're pretty much better off going to play Grand Theft Auto V. You'll, you'll have a far better experience role playing your dude over there than you do in Cyberpunk. And that's pretty sad to even say that. When it comes to the combat and when it comes to the RPG elements uh, attached to that, like I said, the RPG elements don't matter. So... You can choose to play the entire game without ever 
leveling up your dude without ever putting any points into anything because ultimately this game is treated like a looter shooter similar to like destiny where you kill an enemy it drops a new weapon you look at it you compare it with the one you're currently using and then you go oh okay this this pistol does like way more damage than than the assault rifle i have so i'll just continue to use this pistol throughout the rest of the game and that's pretty much how you treat cyberpunk is like you just pick up whatever is the best and then you just roll with it and for the most part when it comes to the rpg side of the game let's say if you wanted to role play a stealth dude that wants to sneak up on people and and use katanas to like slice your enemies in half and all that bullshit um you can't really do that unless you just role play it in your mind that that's what you want to do you know what i mean ultimately it's easier for you to just pick up a pistol that has the best damage and then just run around headshotting everything because that's like literally the only thing that's worth a damn sneaking around and all that is pretty pointless enemy ai is absolutely terrible the worst ai i've seen in a video game in a really long time and it's mainly because they don't try to do anything like flank they don't try to dodge your attacks they don't try to they're mindless they literally just walk right up to you and you shoot at them and that's it there there's no there's no ai in this game like they might as well just be standing people that just you know they just stand there and they shoot and that's it like the, the fact that they even walk around is surprising honestly because it's that bad the ai is the worst and then when it comes to the actual police ai oh my god i'm gonna kill somebody and then they'll teleport over here there'll be like a drone or it'll be a guy that shows up watch all right police are gonna come no one called the police they just appear watch see there's the police look he just he just appeared over here there was no chase scene it's not like you know like in grand theft auto where you will see them coming on the radar like they're they're running towards you type of thing there's none of that but watch uh, watch how easy it is to avoid the police they don't add, they don't even have vehicles you know that the police don't even have cars to chase you with they just chase you on foot there's no consequence and and there's no they don't arrest you either you know how like in grand theft auto when uh when they catch you like you get your hand like they you put your hands up and then they actually arrest you and they take you to jail and then you'll be walking out of the jail and you lost some money and shit you don't have that in cyberpunk like you just they just kill you that's it so they shoot you until you die and then you load your last save that's it no consequence i know this sounds like i'm i'm just completely bashing the game it's it's not all terrible because there is an enjoyable experience here if you really just play it within your mind and just kind of role play yourself instead of relying on the game to role play for you there actually is something here and the world is extremely beautiful this is the best graphics i've ever seen in a video game and i'm so impressed i'm not even playing it on 4k i'm playing it on 1080p with my old ass tv <laughs> you know like i'm in very basic but the graphics are just so mind-blowing that it makes me feel like i'm in this world and it makes me wonder what could happen in the future i'm really hoping that the bugs get fixed uh, when it comes to the ai and all this stuff unfortunately i feel like they would never patch this to be better the way it is it, it just seems like this is it and the only way that I could really see it being improved is through player modding, which is something that I'm really looking forward to. And I really hope CD Projekt Red makes it easy for, for modders to come in and, and really flesh out the game how they want to, because I'm pretty sure that the community will come up with far better mods to improve the AI, to add cops that actually chase you in cars, to add you know actual real systems like i know the community can do a better job than the actual company which pretty sad to even say that but it's it's been proven for years and years modders have always made the games better and um just even looking right now grand theft auto 5 one of the biggest mods right now is the real life mod that everyone's playing on twitch and it was a player made mod like that's something that you know the the actual developers can't fucking do and that the problem with gaming now is that our expectations are so high because we look at previous games we're always comparing things to other games and 
Cyberpunk is one of those games where we were comparing it with games like Grand Theft Auto V, games like Fallout New Vegas, games like Deus Ex. You know what I mean? Like all these games that actually did major, major strides in the gaming space. You know, we were expecting that kind of experience, but instead all we got was a mediocre action game. Pretty simplistic open world to deal with. So overall, my score for this game, I give it a 6 out of 10. Honestly, it's gotten to the point now that, you know, I'm, I was really excited about the multiplayer mode that would be coming. I was really excited about DLCs that would come in the future. But now I lost all my, my expectations. Now I... I just can't see myself ever getting hyped for a video game ever again. It, it really ruined my experience with video games. I think I'm going to start becoming a, a makeup guru now and just stop playing video games because like it really, it really hurt me that this game was such a flop. Damn it. Fuck. Why'd you do this cyberpunk? Fuck. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Leave a thumbs up if you liked the video. Thumbs down if you didn't. And I'll see you guys on the next one. All right. There you go.